traders and welcome to another edition of what's moving in the forex market brought to you by myself Kurt Capra and pristine trading please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice and in addition as always also keep in mind pristine offers a series of free webinars each and every single month Here's a highlight of some of our upcoming webinars. You can always check www.pristine.com for the full schedule. But again, I always encourage you to register for any and all that interest you. And we can send you a recording if you're not able to be there. But uh, being there definitely makes the experience better as you can ask questions. These are live webinars, so you can get instant feedback and and answers to those questions which you may have so hopefully we'll see you there taking a look at where things are at starting in the upper left euro us dollar pulling back in here you know we, we were talking in last week's video about this area being a key level and if we can break out above that could start to signal some greater strength and we did get the initial pop, but then it was quickly negated. We, we saw a bearish reversal take us right back into the breakout area <clears throat> or the base. And we'll see now if we form a higher low. I mean, we do have some support you can see right here to the left. We've got a little bit of support. We've also got this moving average here as well, which is the uh, 21 EMA. So we'll see if that does... Br uh, provide a bit more uh, support in addition to the price support we've got to the left uh, but at this point time will tell I mean there's there's obviously a significant amount of resistance up at this prior high um, and, and so that'll definitely be an area to watch for if price can back get back up there if not then we may continue to see this bleed back down towards the bottom of the range and then continue doing its thing here moving on over to the upper middle chart, Aussie US dollar, as you see here, we had a nice strong move up uh, over the last week and a half or so. And pretty much most of last week had been sideways. It had just been consolidating here, which on one hand is a little uh, frustrating simply because it's not providing a whole lot of directional movement up or down. But on the other hand, it is somewhat constructive to... Uh, the potential for price to continue rallying higher so basically you know it's kind of just taking a a breather in a sense it's resting before possibly making its next push to the upside so time will tell with this one the range is contracting a bit you can see the highs are getting lower and the lows are getting a bit higher so as i said time will tell here but Overall, given the strength of this move up, taking out that prior pivot high, the implication is that we do move higher. Same would be true for New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar in the upper right. This one also experienced a very strong rally. We had a wide range bar uh, taking place that at the early part of last week and now momentum is slowing down a bit so we'll see if it doesn't start to pull back in or just go sideways a bit looking at this weekly chart we have now taken out that resistance which we talked about in last week's video so it is uh it is quite significant here as far as what has taken place so i do think that a uh pullback or consolidation would be best case scenario if we are going to see this continuing to move higher but that may mean that at least for this coming week a little bit of indecision or volatility in a sideways range may may be in order so uh, where this pair was quite attractive and tradable um, over the last you know week and a half 